How to enlarge a drawing using a grid. First, we're gonna start with a four by six inch reference photo. I'm gonna use a Sharpie so you can see my lines. You can use a pencil. And we're gonna line up the start of the ruler with the start of the photograph and make a little mark at every inch. This grid will be one inch by one inch. Next, I'll slide my ruler to the bottom of the photo without flipping it over and continue to make a mark at each inch. I use my ruler to line up those two marks, measure twice, draw it once, and carefully draw the line. I'll repeat this process along the side, making marks at one inch, lining them up and drawing the line. I'm going to number across the top, you should have six boxes in your four by six inch photo, and A, B, C, D along the side. Now, if I wanna make my drawing twice as large, the grid has to be twice as large on my drawing paper. That means my new grid will be two inches by two inches. So I'm gonna make a mark at two, four, six, eight, and 10. Slide your ruler to the bottom of the page, do the same thing, and connect. This way, I will have the same number of boxes on my drawing paper as I do on my original photograph. Now remember, you want light, light lines. Do not push hard. Even if it looks like we erased the grid, if we push too hard, it leaves a little groove in the paper and when we shade, it shows back up again. And I'm gonna number and letter. I should have the same numbers, one through six, and the same letters, A, B, C, D, across the vertical axis. All right, and now looking at that photo, I'm gonna use my grid to help me line up some of those landscape features. So the edge of an island in my piece is in column one, block C. I'm gonna find that same place on my grid. And let's say that mountain is one inch wide on my photo. Make it two inches wide on your drawing. Make sure to look at your reference photo frequently. Now you try.